Well, guys, short-winded intro, but welcome to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick intro while I'm at the house. I want to get going, but I just wanted to... This little area that I cleaned down, I got some spots from our trailers. What do you guys think? If I ended up finding an electrical wire sticking up right there, it's hot. Anyway, come on, Boone, back in the truck. Let's go. Come on. Get them drives back there on the blacktop so I can take off without spinning on the gravel. Oh. Somebody left the gate closed on me. Alright, nobody talk for a second. Everybody likes to hear the truck ripping up a hill. stuff but I didn't want to bring 5500 and the new Diamond C nothing's wrong with either of them they're just chilling at the house but for some reason it just seemed like it'd be more fun to tow with this truck today I don't know why tow with the old trailer the old truck this is like my original tow setup before we realized that single wheel towing vehicles suck dually is so much nicer and that 5500 so so much oh rolling cold sorry Ford's back there. That was an accident. I'm not even kidding. A Taurus and a flatbed. He's a cowboy. I probably shouldn't have done that. He's gonna find me. Just kidding. I like this town. It's pretty cool. There's like a draft horse classic going on at the fairgrounds. And uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, the cowboy people, but it seems like all of them, majority of them, are driving a uh, a Dodge or the Cummins in it towing their horse trailer. If you watch my Instagram, you'll see several of them on there. If I film them when I can, I think they're cool. But there's this old cowboy, he's driving up the road heading towards me. And I was like, man, that's, that's a nice rig. I didn't feel cool enough to wave at him, but he waved at me. That's a good moment. Old cowboy. I wish I was a cowboy. I think we all do. They're just cool. But anyway, so we got to go get fuel because I screwed up and I did not fuel up on my way home from work. We are driving Old Faithful today. The reason for that, it sounded like it was a good fun idea to do. My 04, this thing, 5.9 Cummins, it's got 331,000 miles on it. And it's funny what videos stick and which ones don't. What we're going to do today is we're running over to Dad's house. And uh, we're going to pick up my fuel tanks because I would like to get those set up so this place here could deliver the fuel to the house. Ironically, I could have just been at the house today. They were already set up and just fueled because I messed up after work on Friday. And uh, come on. and did not have time to fuel up my truck and now I'm paying for it this morning. So I'd like to have those set up, run by there. And uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit how it feels like towing with a single wheel versus the duels. This sucks. That's all I'll say. Well, after 65 gallons of fuel, we're back on the road. No, the fuel bill is expensive, but I paid the registration on this truck. This is, uh, it's not registered as actual commercial. No weight stickers or nothing on the side. In California, it is $400 for one year to run this truck. Just registration. Can't believe that. Cannot believe that. I think it's gone up and up. Put my 
my seatbelt on though. Tank number one, loaded up, roughly. I mean, this little blue tractor is just a savage. All right, now we gotta get another tank and bolt the stands. Got the stand up there. Wasn't very graceful. <laughs> but you need to do better the next time. I really like this little tractor. Lucky Craigslist score. Got a spot for my phone. It's got one of those multi-purpose trailer balls. Got the two inch seven eighths, two five sixteenths, and then the hook. I just slide the hook through the loop on the top of the tank. Same controls, throttle. Uh, I think it's actually got hydraulic pump third function for a grapple or you can lock it to run a mower or something but then you got this one extends lifts 10 feet you think Haas that's not ours that's uh my dad's buddies one of his employees tipped it over luckily minimal damage but or he's fixing some of the stuff. Well, let's get this thing loaded up. I'll go back there and get the other stand. I bent that one, kind of bummed. Oh well. Kind of funny, I wanted to throw those on. Put them on a the trailer. Was, I gotta put them back in the dump trailer. I gotta modify them back. So, get them up there in between, that'll work. Back in the day, we got fed up with these heavy ramps, so we stole the ramps off the dump trailer. And modified them to fit on here, but they were too weak for uh, anything. So, but since we modified them, they won't fit back in the dump trailer correctly. They fall out. There you go. Yeah. One does tip over every once in a while. It's not a perfect system, but that rig, you guys just saw me move trailers, move these things. Now he's moving quarter, quarter racks of wood. Emma, where are you going? No, stay. Uh, he can lift up a quarter cord of green oak and put in the back of his Dodge. It's pretty slick. But he used to do everything with the wheel tractor. Uh, that works, but that thing is so much quicker and easier. Oh man. If you guys ever have a chance to buy a miniature articulating loader they're good for about everything you can think of love that little rig man 
get this strap down and get on out here. Well, we got enough ratchet tie downs on there, uh, I'm pretty sure, to hold down a lot more than what this is. But we're headed back to the house. GoPro did its first issue of the day. It said the SD card threw an error, but I'm gonna have a, a new camera. Um, I think Taylor ordered it while I was up here, so. We're gonna go DGI. Very good things about their new camera, and it does not freeze. That's the main reason with this camera sucks. Everything else besides the freezing part. Hero 7 Black GoPro, phenomenal. Let's hit the road though. Big old load. Okay, so the story with these tanks, I'll inform you guys on that when we get back to the house, because if you were paying attention, you saw that I already had two at the house. Uh, they already, they came with the house. Different plans for those, but these ones are nicer, and I just bought them several months ago, and compared to these other ones, which I don't know the history on at all. But these ones were still kind of being used when I bought them. But let's talk about the truck a little bit. Talk about towing with a single wheel with a bigger size gooseneck trailer. Right off the bat, not having dually fenders. Like that new 3500 of mine has. That is a big perk. Let's turn up the trailer brake a little bit. Secondly, uh, this truck's brakes are not the best compared to a 5500. My new 3500, they feel like they're stronger than this rigs are. But I bought this truck back in the day. This is the longest I've ever owned one of these trucks for. I bought, the, this was my first common rail Dodge. And I've had it five years now. I've probably owned, man, six, seven, eight, I don't know. Quite a few of them since then. I don't remember the exact count. But for some reason, I've held on to this one the longest. And this is probably my favorite truck uh, on a daily basis. I have pretty good inventory of other shapes and sizes, all with the Cummins in it. But for some reason, this one's old faithful. But I bought it. And uh, this is my first tow rig. I got a, an outfitted exhaust brake on it, a pack brake one. It's got airbags, single wheel, 3500. It's a nice rig, I like it for towing light. Uh, I've towed heavy with it a couple of times. I've actually towed about 25,000 pounds with it. It's, uh, <laughs> it does it fine. It's not really unsafe or anything. The exhaust brake definitely helps downshifting, you know, I wouldn't say premature, but early keep this speed under control and make sure your trailer brakes are turned out good but that's not the problem that I have with it good power decent brakes but even with airbags with a single wheel it does a lot of wishy-washy stuff I've seen some guys lately towing way more than I do with a single wheel short bed Dodge that just seems stupid stupid I'm gonna say ballpark easy math they were hauling about 35,000 behind their Dodge with a single wheel. I think that's reckless. I don't think that's the smartest thing. I wouldn't advise that. But anyway, so plans with towing with this thing right off the bat was just to tow that little yellow gooseneck trailer of my dad's. And that works fine. I still prefer towing that trailer with this truck. It's just a good little combination and works like getting in and out of jobs but I can only haul about 10 12,000 pounds with that rig and uh, yeah we haul more than that now so this truck as soon as I bought this gooseneck for it like I said I hauled a couple times with it and it didn't take very long and I ordered that 5500 or I might have already ordered the 5500 before I picked up this trailer yeah I don't know timeline jump it's been a couple years I slept since then but I like towing with this truck, this trailer, every once in a while because it's kind of fun. Nothing's wrong with the Diamond C. It's sitting at home being pretty as hell. But this trailer is quite a bit easier to tow backing into a driveway. That other one, I'm not quite used to it. It takes a little bit. But I like her good. Good little setup right here. Good for light load. They'll probably still haul the little excavator and stuff on this, but just easier to use a little trailer. Down here at the shop now, 
Brought the Kubota down so we can unload this stuff. Wait, my buddy Tyler come down here. He's going to give me a quick hand. But I just wanted to take a second and just, I don't know, very grateful. Sure, they're older trucks. Yeah, I love these. These are two of my favorite trucks. Two, I don't know. I'm going to keep these two forever, I'll tell you that much. There's a, the new whip. Yeah, sure, I could have taken this one, but... I had fun towing with this one today. Went back a step, drove with the old bird. Nothing wrong with that. Thing still gets her done. No doubt about that. Could be making me money hauling, but ah, I'm happy with it. Gonna get these things unloaded, stage them over here to pressure wash them. You guys are probably wondering where grandma's truck is. Well, uh, I was getting nervous when I back up to turn uh, this trailer around. I normally back up grandma's trucks parked right here i'd back up alongside of it but i was just getting really close to grandma's truck with this overhang because i'll tell you it uh it's a decent little overhang and i was just real worried that i was going to hit it so uh tyler came down the other night and we moved it it was actually kind of comical i used the blazer and drug it up there and he just coasted down there bouncing through the ditch and stuff it was kind of funny so uh, it's out of the way right now. It still gets worked on. Don't worry about it, guys. It's it's coming. A lot of stuff. There's Harlicker. What's he doing? That kid's always doing something fun, huh? Biking. Anyway, let's get these things unloaded. Get everything untied. Unloaded. Pressure washed. Start the process of paint these Easy, sailor, easy. Oh, <laughs> probably wasn't the smoothest unload I've ever performed, but both the tanks and the stands are off of there. I know, it would be nice and sweet. I know somebody's gonna say, a set of pallet forks. Uh, I could use them in a million more ways than you can think of right now. I could have used them so much this week, but they're expensive, they're on the list, and maybe I'll get lucky and find a set on Craigslist, save a little bit of money, but if not, they gotta set down there global waiting for me. Uh, once I save up those things are expensive for pallet forks Anyway, I got one more thing I want to show you guys I got to take this trailer off because I got to hook the dump trailer up to the 04 for work tomorrow But another gadget from speed binders. They sent me a uh, speed jack So it goes on here. I'll have to modify this, but I'll still be able to use the uh, speed part of it right now This one you can actually still hand crank it um, If you didn't have something, but I don't have enough room right here but we're gonna go ahead and set it up on here, test her out, see if, uh, cause these, it takes so long with these single speed jacks. So let's get this set up, test her out real quick like. Even got lucky, this socket that you need for the speed binders is the size to pop this off. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh faithful. And then, this was on there backwards. Got switch around. Oh, they even had red Loctite. I'm getting serious. Think this will fit. I really hope it does because I went through some effort to try to get this on here right now for you guys. That's bent. Crap. This thing's bent a little bit.
Well, yeah, that's on there. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Look at the quality. They didn't even line that shaft up when they built this trailer. All right. It is hand beat on there. <laughs> we'll go up here and test this thing out. It's a little slow, but I don't know what the gear ratio is in the jacks for this, but man, if you just like a drill up to it and wait like a minute, maybe it'll lift it. I don't know. We'll try it. All right, let's test her out. Got those jacks extended. I think it just, uh, the jack hasn't even come off the ball yet, or the tongue. That's a lot of torque right now. Oh, I'll just spin it on the thing. I think this trailer is too big for that application. It's really, uh, I got another trailer I want to try it on, so don't be knocking it yet. Let's put this bird on there. Washer second, is that right? We're there, okay, let's go up to the dump trailer, set that up, and I wanna show you what I actually intended to put this on. I think it'll work good on that. All right, we got the 04 all hooked up to the dump trailer. You got to keep one of these on your dump trailer. Solar panel, keep that battery charged or else you're really screwed. But uh, don't anybody ask about that backup camera. That thing is a joke. It was like 12 bucks on eBay and uh, it's actually mirror imaged. Go figure. So when you turn left, you turn right in the camera. Trust me, it's goofy. But here's what I want to put this speed jack on. I think this will work out slick. This is my dad's uh first gooseneck yellow gooseneck i've talked about it before earlier on this video pretty sweet compact little gooseneck it's a little it's almost too short for a gooseneck but it does have uh this is what i got rigged on it because it just takes way too long i got a 3 8 drive set up on here i just notched the socket and it goes over something like that on the inside it's actually stuck on there i gotta i don't know what i'm gonna do here but uh it's a little bit too much uh the gear ratio is not dropped enough for a drill gun on here. It gets a little warm. So, modify that thing to rig this thing up. What do you guys think? I think that'll be slick. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm sorry. But well, next time I use this trailer, this thing will be rigged up for it. I promise you that. Plus, then you still got the option for the jack if you don't have a drill gun. Unlike the binders where you're kind of, you know, relying on a drill motor. This one you still have jack handle on it so you can swing around like it a lot better this one it's pretty a cheesy trailer really this is what it's got for you know what i mean not really the biggest most awesome thing on the planet uh i've talked about it before but this trailer actually only came with this upper brace or upper gooseneck bar dad added this one this support it flex i'm going down the road brand new trailer like eight thousand bucks and uh the dealer didn't want to fix it he probably should have just got his money back but he made it work and uh I've used this trailer a lot. He doesn't tow with it anymore since I got a hold of it. I upgraded the uh, tires and wheels to 17.5, so she's pretty, she's pretty handy. That's the one I was telling you about that I like to tow with the 04 here. So anyway, we're gonna 
close this video out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, comment below if you guys have uh, an idea for a video. I'm not, by all means, I'm not running out of ideas for videos, but I like to deliver something that somebody voices in the comment. Something within reason, obviously. Don't make me do anything weird because I won't. But uh, there's been a request off and on for towing the bigger gooseneck with 3500 here. It is a single wheel 3500, Doe 4, whatever. I actually call this truck my white truck. <laughs> my white truck. And then my 5500 is my new truck. And then my actual new truck. I don't really have a name for that one. 3500? Maybe that's, I don't know what I call it. Anyway, there was a request for this truck to be um, featured a little bit more often. So I thought I would. And there's just a couple little upgrades on this thing. Uh, the bags, the exhaust brake. It's got a Smarty Senior. It's got a, uh, a legal five inch exhaust. And uh, Fast 150, a couple intakes and stuff like that. By all means, not a big build. Still quite a few dollars, actually. But it's got plenty of power for what I'm looking for. And I really, this is probably holding down my, you know, my go-to, my favorite truck. So we're going to take her to work tomorrow. And I really need to clean this truck up a little bit. But she's doing the job. So hit them buttons for me, guys. Hit that like button. That lets YouTube know that I'm doing something decent around here and you guys are enjoying the content. And uh, I really appreciate it. We're on a good run right now. Uh, momentum's doing pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with it. We hit the 25K and blew it out the window. So I'll do a video with the giveaway for that toolbox very shortly. I won't wait as long as I did in the last one. So subscribe to the channel. Comment below your requests or concerns. <laughs> and uh, like this video. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Later.